Firstly, let's be clear about what we mean by research, and then we'll just apply that to educational research. So firstly, research. Key organising frame is that research in any field is systematic inquiry, and that has a purpose, which is to produce useful knowledge about the area or questions that you're trying to address. So, let's be more specific. That the research that you do will in some way link to, build upon existing knowledge in the literature. That's adding to that body of knowledge. So, if I'm interested in researching um, our technology could enhance aspects of the learning process, then I've got to know a little bit about the learning process and some of the technologies that are presently being used. And, and this is a really important bit, is that there is an organised process and methods of inquiry that one uses to try to establish knowledge that is of a more factual, of a more objective base than just pure fanciful opinion. And ultimately, that as we do research and we engage in this systematic inquiry, we build knowledge and build that knowledge into potential models or what we call theory build. And these are ways of looking at things that help us to explain something. So if we go back to the example of using technology for learning, we, we come up with an approach that allows us to think about technology use from a, a better understanding of human learning, for example. So we are theory building. And that's what we try to do, to construct a body of useful knowledge so that other people, including ourselves, of course, can use it to enhance a particular activity. In this case, using technology to enhance student learning. Okay, let's move on. Educational research, quite simply, it's the application of the research process to looking at issues, as I mentioned in the previous slide, such as the use of technology for supporting aspects of the learning process. So it's careful, it's systematic, and it attempts to achieve a better understanding of something to do with education or educational processes. And obviously, the overriding uh, purpose is to improve that area of practice. For those who like another definition, you can look at this, and as you can see, it's very similar, and it focuses on the notion that it enables us to establish sound knowledge bases about the practices of teaching in relation to how we learn, and that enhances the professional credibility of what we do.